Oh, it... Apparently that gets counted as a button press there. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... We is a mighty lieutenant right here at your service and you forgot to give me the helmet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh... <clears throat> Welcome back to Doom Eternal, where apparently I'm already starting to die. <laughs> uh, though, oh, I forgot one thing. Let me, well, one other thing. Let me correct that at the moment. And hello there, Mac. <laughs> you doing well today? Uh, oh, let's see. My English boy. Oh, wait, I see what's going on. Uh, I should respond uh, to this. They both have the Yarg! same one. <laughs> okay. That should help with the smoothness. <laughs> <laughs> and now Drakir is also dying. <laughs> but yeah, Glacier Boy has, has changed to orange apparently, so how the both of you doing? <laughs> and apparently that you have no helmet because Glacier Boy stole it. <laughs> what am I normal about? Like, here's the thing. Long ago we had the idea to jokefully give me different helmets. Like for Doom, it would give me a Doom helmet and for the only war? or all the Space Marine games or 40k games. Maybe give me different helmets there as well. And hello, German, there as well. <laughs> okay, the entire squad is assembling, apparently. Let's see. Hi, you all. For once, I'm here at the start. All right. Uh, how is everyone doing? <laughs> doing pretty well, I'd say. I, I think they are quite eager for college. <laughs> <laughs> and Mac just confirms that. But yeah, let's continue on from last time. Where, yeah, last time we had some startup issues, but uh, other than that, things have proven to be more than worth it. Okay. I've, I, I have to say that I had heard about a betrayer in... Uh, actually, there's a betrayer that's mentioned in the lore in Doom 2016. Yeah. Uh, gotcha, probably missed some of it due to... Yeah, Russian. Yeah, due to technical issues. And there was also a. Can we get a bonk? Nope, we get a slash. It, 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 get off. And again, I just, I just instinctively press. There we go. <laughs> and yeah, now, uh, in the post-production of the uh, video, uh, of, of the video of the, the last stream, I, I added in a bonk counter of how many times we do the bonk glory kill on the zombies. Uh, oh, uh, no ammo. Uh, uh, how many bongs were there? <laughs> six. So let's see how many we can get this time. Only six? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm talking about the bonk uh, one specifically, which apparently we can't seem to do on these. The... Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah Jump I, mean, I shot. have to agree with you folks that this purple stuff seems to behave like the... glue. It, it, it's some kind of bodily fluids, ain't it? Likely. I saw something moving faster, so is there still an imp around? Do I... Do I actually need to get rid of these? Yeah, I don't think those are just regular zombies. Okay, so they do count here. Oh, they, they did yeah. lost them as well. Yeah, no, again, I don't think these are just regular zombies. Like, they might be slightly tougher. Yeah, because on Earth, we could just move on without needing to kill them. Okay, need to get out of this junk quickly. Get away. I think I'm keeping piggy by going bodily fluids, so I am not gonna describe what I, I I don't know what even what it might be. I'm unsure if blood sense. Yeah, let's just go with goo for the moment and leave it at that. Yeah. Another big mecha. 
let's see. I think you okay, crossed someone. To... We'll not be too surprised by that. Um... I said, don't prove that, that would happen. Hmm. Let's see. I hope it, it, that if you punch one of the boxes, your helpers can catapult enemies around. Yeah, invisible wall. Let's see, that needs to be broken. There is a dash refill up there, but... Hmm. Let's see. Jump from the box to the platform it was next to. Oh, oh, hold on. There's... I didn't see this here. Ah, there we go. And the night lights. Okay. That's one big night light. <laughs> and there it goes. This thing is just completely overgrown. <laughs> just blast a fucking hole through. Okay. Oh, we don't mind backseaters unless the backseaters are spoiling the story. Yeah, advice and all is nice. Oop. But keep spoilers gone. Anything here that's... Yes. Uh, let's get this one. Loot magnets. Give us a bit more armor as well. And there we go. All right. Any more sneakies? Only bubbly. Yeah, that, that blue is going to be annoying because it's basically in an antithetical to Doom's gameplay of speeds. Oh, oh hello. Okay, uh, seems like we can get some more bonks in, maybe. Yeah, and also, I think you know who the purple stuff is. What, Mountain Dew? Uh, Mountain Dew is not purple, Helium. There probably is a version that is. I think it's prune use. <laughs> Okay, we better keep the glow box away. What? Oh, right. <laughs> yep. Oh, that just made me think of a certain uh, Jack Black meme. Oh. What do you think you recall from uh, uh, Brutal Legends? Decapitation. <laughs> Yes, that one. <laughs> he couldn't even do a butcher the name. Let's see, what is this? Anyway, moving on. I get the yeah. feeling. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> a decapitation. <laughs> and it just yeah. keeps it going for like half a freaking minute. Yeah, uh, uh, what? I'm tempted to try to actually say it, from this. Yeah, I don't want to disturb my neighbors. <laughs> well, they've been disturbing you a bunch. Time for some payback. Let's uh, see. Gonna do that. <laughs> With machine and enchantment of the makers, the, Ar Ar the Argenta brought our newfound clarity to the desperate realms of the Iperian uh, Void. We took flight with the support of our gods, spreading the enlightened word of the account maker. We discovered there was not one enemy, but many. Worlds and people unknown to the Argenta were unveiled, and we saw our own suffering reflected in their eyes. Our righteous army strode into battle under the banner of the Night Sentinels and fought for the freedom of all peoples from the grasp of those who would exploit and prey upon them. Though we battled on soil not our own, the blood we shed in foreign lands safeguarded Argent Noor and the sons and daughters that defended it. Through the strange peoples we liberated, new alliances were formed, and our beliefs, came, uh, our beliefs became their own. Our armies swelled. As the Argenta traversed the stars with gleaming war fleets, the Khan of the Makers approached King Rhone on his throne. Rhone on his throne, Rhone on his throne, <laughs> rhyme. <clears throat> he sensed his gods restless, 
he, he sends his gods restless by her quiet demeanor. Restlessness, maybe? Uh, the king and Khan spoke, and the god revealed she had foreseen a schism in the blood of the Argenta. A test uh, would be required to identify its host among us. She spoke of a holy rite to be performed on the strongest of our warriors. Only those that proved worthy would be tested, for the impurity could reside in only the most resilient uh, of our uh, legion. The Divinity Machine, a great tribute by Khan Scolaris, would help us cleanse any impurities from our flock, ensuring our continued prosperity in this world and in the Maker Realm that awaited in the afterlife. The Malicious One, if not exhumed from our ranks, would jeopardize our safe passage to the Heavenly Realm of Ordak. The Dark One was not amongst them yet, nor would he be for many generations. Only the Mother Gods, through divination and Maker Sight, uh, would determine when he stood before them. The makers were truth, and their only their unclouded, unclouded eyes could find the ones who was marked. The prophecy of the unholy one was written, and through the ages the warning grew faint, until only the making of the con maker herself and the high priests of the order Deag still whispered of he that would one day come to threaten their way of light. This, yeah, seeing as the con maker and the the Deag, or however you're supposed to say, that's turned against them. This just all sounds like a load of bullshit to try and find Doomslayer. Yeah. And yeah, apparently they they actually managed space travel, but with the tech we saw on their home world, that's not surprising. Uh, give it to the dark side, Drakiris, disturb them, do it. <laughs> I'm glad you're reading the codex, because I never read it on my playthrough. Okay. So, these things will drop a ray that drop away almost the moment we step on them uh, there okay not the moment but still after a while and we just got back <laughs> Okay, that Holy. dash is going to be really useful. Let's see. Keep an eye out for the Slayer key. Oh, oh just a gargoyle. What gargoyle? Yep. That's the same one as before we saw on Earth, I think. Let's see. You're still alive, I think. 14 shells. Okay, grenade is just one shell. Let's see. Keep going up, all right? Oh, that must be it. Hello. Slayer Key. The Slayer Key will unlock a nearby Slayer Gate. Completing all six Slayer Gates unlocks access to the Unmaker in the Fortress of Doom. Slayer Keys are hidden when, uh, when playing with cheat codes. Okay, to avoid people well from getting them too easily. Thanks about that, Mac. Yeah, thank uh, you. Okay. The gate... Uh, I'm guessing the gate has to be nearby somewhere. Hmm? Uh, back which way? Back to where we just were up there? Wait, is that another key or something else? No, the, the gate. I... Oh, oh, wait, wait. I think I saw the gate. Or was there something else? Yeah, uh, we walked close to that before. It, uh, ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Similar I can see shape. how we easily missed that one. Let's see. Optional intense encounters. Ammo and extra life spent in the Slayer Gate will not be restored afterward. Completion awards three weapon points and an Imperium key, Imperium key. Okay. Okay. Sounds like good rewards. Oh, wait, wait. I completely missed this thing. <laughs> Even though we were so near to it. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. I should probably use this thing more since it has the most ammo at the moment. All right. Wake up. Ooh. Stop hitting yourself. That's my job. <laughs> Wait, what? Is your own job to hit yourself? No, to hit them. Oh, alright. Here. Cut you down to size. Ow. Ah, crap. Oh, hello, that's a new. Holy, what the? What was those again? Yep. Are they a strong variant of headlights? They look more like some sort of blade thing. Ooh, <laughs> not what I was aiming for. That could be. I need some. I accidentally used that. Come here, you. Yeah, get ready for a headbanger, says Mark. The mission boss is dead banger. What? Now, give me, give me, give me. Okay, they move like hell knights. Still got one. Just how many fucking imps are there here? Yep, got the other one with that. Yep. And just as I run out of ammo. <laughs> okay, that was a that was a tough one. Let's see. Oh Acquire boy. all keys to activate the maker device in the Fortress of Doom to, un to unlock the unmaker. Okay, I'm going to try for uh, I'm going to try those, but I'm not going to promise to finish all of them. <laughs> okay, when I thought it meant intense, it. I didn't expect it to just jump up in difficulty that much. <laughs> I was expecting it, since it was a rather good reward. Okay. There we go. We didn't even lo lose a life over that, actually. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. I forgot you need to press E. Is nearby. Oh? Let's see. Nothing we're missing.
motion sensors and artillery everywhere. Hello. I told you all to leave me here. I am where I belong. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse. And now you seek to defy the con maker herself. It is your people's time now to give penance, just as it was mine. Hear me, Slayer. When his heart is laid to rest, then his soul will be at peace. And so will mine. Okay, your people. All right. Yeah, that's Let's not see. a human. Hmm. Now, th there was speculation that uh, the Doomslayer wasn't a human, that he was one of the Night Sentinels. Or... Hmm. But he was sent with the Night Sentinels to somewhere. Okay. Oh, he is human. Doomge is human. Okay, let's see. Uh, after years of prolonged war against the demonic threat invading their world, Arch Denur launched an offensive strike across dimensions, sending their greatest warriors into the heart of hell itself. Despite, uh, despite their training and their preparedness, their honor was undone by deceit. Betrayal at the highest level of commands left the Argent Denur's bravest warriors cut off and scattered in the hellscape. But of these last remaining Night Sentinels, only one remained in Hell by choice. Betrayer of the Argenta, it was Commander Valen who, re who relinquished the keys to the, the, to the elemental sepulchre sep in return for his son's resurrection. Haunted by demonic visions, the image of his son's tortured existence plagued him without relent, the whispers of demons pushing him toward madness. In a moment of weakness, he fell prey to the art to the demon's trickery, sealing the fate of Arjun Denur and dooming the kingdom to, the, uh, yeah, to which he swore a lifelong oath to protect. Valen chose exile in the hellscape for his sacrilege. Okay. Hmm. Then what is the? Hmm. Okay. I need to think on that a bit, I think. Also, what was that little thing that he gave us? I'm presuming he charged up the thing that we need. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Each and now we have... point has been identified. I will mark its location on your HUD. Okay, and I... That... That confirms, I guess, that we are in hell, actually, at the moment. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, should be easy enough to get that, if we can get some height. I, I never get used to the word hard in games. So it's spelled the same as a, a, a Swedish word. Which is then? Oh, hood. <laughs> it, it means skin. Skin. Okay. Hmm. Or oh, hide. So I guess you can see why my brain get confused when I see it. Yeah. Go. Uh, okay, you've got chainsaw pet man, man, yeah, man, and then you have railgun man. <laughs> okay, this one should be easy enough, depending on how quickly this falls. Oh, uh, 
failed. Yeah, I, I, I thought this was some sort of in-between point, uh, Glacier Boy. Uh, there. I wish I did. I always, to this day, we find these random fire chains weird. This is my whole other place. Okay. Took a corpse for one of them. Oh, oh hello. He's dead. I'm found. Oh. Damn it. You are unlucky enough to be in my way. Yep, wrong one. Yep, another one. Oh, wait. Let me see. Come here. <laughs> okay, we just teleport up. And a one and a two. And just for show. <laughs> All right. Oh, fast travel unlocked. And we've got all but one of the weapon points. Let's see. Is there anything obvious then that... Okay, there's one thing we haven't found. Let's see. Any obvious markers of here is something? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's see, is there actually any ammo left to right. around? Let's look at, look at the map again, I think I saw something. Yeah, there's a grey spot there, and a grey spot there, too, even. Hmm. There, there, there. there is something that could be hidden. Let's see. Fast travel. Hell, and then which is near? Idol of Torment, really? Let's jump over here quickly. Also, sorry for not paying much attention to chats, but yeah, I do need to keep my eye mostly on, well, not dying and everything. Uh, let's actually <laughs> go one further back. Let's see. Happens all the time. They are as, they are as ugly as a corpse then. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so I was right that there was likely something hidden around here. Yep, but there's a gate. This way? Ah. Knock, knock. Hello. Okay, not going to get any explanation about that. Hmm. Hope that is not the thing. Okay. Hmm. Now there is that secret encounter there, but I think we can ignore that for the moment. 
So let's just finish this off. It takes a moment to get control back. It's out of ammo. We've still got ammo here. All right. Okay, so the encounter and some... Uh, actually, I probably would have gotten the last point with the secret encounter. Okay, how was combat? And the Slayer Gate. One of the enco secret encounters. Okay, so there was... Okay, one toy somewhere. Hmm. And our rewards for this are... Yep. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <What>? Okay. <laughs> Slay loose. Part of Series 13 Tropic <laughs> like it's Hot's collection. Really? Uh, Alright. Not my nose. I keep forgetting that. Pinted see Doritos had the same effect as uh, spicy food. Uh, let's see, Durvin, there's a familiar line. I'm purely guessing, but maybe he gave you some kind of key. Oh, what, the fire and lava didn't give it away? There was fire and lava on Earth too, Mac. <laughs> Fair enough. And, okay, that seems to be all. Let's see what Vega has to say. Also, I'm guessing this thing is Exultian. The second Hell Priest is located in the northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. Okay, so... <laughs> the hub has several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. Ship? This this thing is a ship, not just a, a space station? Okay. <laughs> I think mean, it's both. Uh, let's see, any... nothing new? Master levels. Let's see. Yeah, this place is very obviously Exaltian in technology and design. So let's actually. What? Uh, hmm? What do you mean by Exaltian? Yeah, that of the of the place where we just were. This must oh, be one okay. of their ships. And the question is, how did it end up here? There's a there's a blank area between here and uh, the last game that I'm very curious about. Oh yeah, let's... Wait, let, me, let me tell you that actually. Let's see. Insert Sentinel batteries into sockets within the Fortress of Doom to unlock items and power up parts uh, of the fortress. Sentinel batteries can be found in missions or earned by completing all three of the mission challenges. Okay, we haven't been really doing that. Do we have any? Yes. Okay, we have one at least. <laughs> Put it in the right way, dummy. Sentinel energy levels rising. Re-establishing power to core and supplementary systems. Okay. We can't put in any more. We can get a new little toy here. Oh, it a toy. Okay. Press left control or middle to launch an ice bomb. Press G to swap with the frag grenades. Temporarily freezes any demons hit with a blast. Combo it with other weapons. Gradually recharges. Okay. Modification to your equipment launcher has been completed. Once fired, the bomb will douse nearby enemies in freezing gases. You'll have to manually toggle the launcher to fire either ice bombs or frag grenades. Okay, that is going to be fun. Hmm. Now that I think about it, those hell temples that we were on, they had a very similar style to this. So I'm guessing, well, it's very obviously that the Order Deag or Sorceress Order, whatever you, <laughs> you call them, they, they uh, betrayed uh, the Sentinels. And yeah, they turned their ships or the ships that they had into their hell temples. Yeah. Uh, hello there, pizza lover. <laughs> Hello, pizza. You're doing well? Okay, that's one of six. 
Oop. Uh, hello. Hmm. Upgrade thing here. And we don't have any batteries to put in. And here we have another yep. sentinel. Let's see. Oh. That looks familiar, but I can't put where. I've seen that. And over here we have... Okay, these require two to open up. Yeah. Oh. More... oh, yeah, I forgot to... Please send over Oscar somewhere. I'm well over here, and... Yeah, how are you today, Helen? I forgot to ask you that today. <laughs> uh, doing decent. Nothing much to complain about. Okay, I, I know someone asked us to look around the fortress. Ooh, hello. For Easter eggs and such. And... We can have a good guess as to what that is. <laughs> Let's see. Did not expect actually expect this to open up. Okay, yeah. Don't Let's worry, there's a force field around you. Oh, that around the damn thing. Is that it? Is that another Praetor suit? Yeah, okay. I think the old school one uh, for the original games are in there as well. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. <laughs> okay, that is a skin, apparently, according to Mac. Yeah, uh, apparently they are also a way ahead of you. I still surprised that this runs on uh, Nintendo Switch. Like, the older games I could see work. Oh. So that'd be me deaf about it. Really? <laughs> Guitars? <laughs> okay. I want going to action slay action. while you slay. Let's see. Fortress of Doom. Okay. The Fortress of Doom is a command station used by the Sentinels for military operations. ESR dating suggests the structure was built during the reign of King Danak. And spectral analysis of the Sentinel energy signature used to power the various system confirms this theory. While the rock and metal structure of the vessel is undoubtedly Argenta design, the castle's subsystems, navigation, gravitational centrifuge, life support, are of maker origin, suggesting a design collaboration between the two species. Propulsion is notably absent, as it is not required. The fortress manipulates space through an unknown process involving sentinel energy. However, there is no indication that any of the systems were designed for maker use. The access ways, control panels, and living quarters have all been designed for Argenta dimensions, so it can be assumed that the massive structure was made exclusively for Argenta warfare, like, <clears throat> likely as a flag station of the Night Sentinels military forces. We have records of Night Sentinels visiting many inhabited planets in their local quadrant. The extent of their empire is still being researched, and this fortress is likely a remnant of what uh, was once a much larger fleet. The design of the structure suggests it was used as a command station for the Night Sentinel Galactic Exploration, and that troops would touch ground at their final destination through other means, either through the use of smaller transport ships or potentially through continuum gates. Dimensional travel has been noted in several Argenta texts, and is presumed to be one of the many technological advancements that the makers brought with them to Argentinur, though the precise method of this arcane technology is still unknown. Okay, so that explains what this place is. But it does, oh, <laughs> okay, this is where all of these are stored. Um, uh, oh, uh, there's a lot of Easter eggs here. Comics? <laughs> okay, the Vault of uh, Orgma. Actually, if you go to the bookshelf, there will be a sp certain <laughs> name. <laughs> and of course, the little guy. <laughs> Living End, that, that looks like a Kako Demon version of uh, uh, Modok. Oh, good gods. And let's see if we can find it. For yeah, there's a certain name here they added in as a homage to <laughs> a certain YouTuber. Let's see, how to win friends and kill demons. Uh, Atlas ripped and teared. The picture of Dorian Sky. The Kako in the Rye, Green Eggs and Pentagram, 1984 Dead Demons, To Kill a Mocking Demon, 
the Great Gutsy or Gutsby, Great Gatsby. Ten, uh, ten dollars lent to spend. An inspirational tale by Oog Nuff something. Demon farm instead of animal farm. Let's see, the very hungry caco demon. The power of positive ripping and tearing. The art of rip and tear. The slayer's tale. That could be many things, but I'm guessing the bard's tale. The man in the high argent tower. The guts of, wa of wrath. <laughs> the ripping tree. My best friend Daisy. Okay, that's to the bunny. I'm curious if we'll find her somewhere around here. Slayer House 5, Don Slayote, Slayenstein, five, five Shades of Slay, Eat, Rip, Tear, The Count of Kadinger Christo. Yeah, Kadinger is an region in hell. Dungeons and Demons 6th Edition. Oh, uh, people are actually God. expecting that 6th Edition could be uh, being uh, getting could be getting announced uh, like a uh, this year or next year. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a reference to Commander Keen. Yeah. Oh dear. Let's see. How to comb your mustache. Clifton M. Fishback. Wait, wait. That's the book. Fishback. M. Look at the last name. Clifton M. Fishback. Fishback. Uh, that yep. doesn't sound familiar to me. I will explain. Behold, Markiplier's dad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, that makes it was, sense. It's how Markiplier uh, got introduced to do for his four played it. Okay. And, He's oh. dead, sadly enough, but they, they... Apparently someone in Id heard about this and decided, you know what? Let's honor him. <laughs> okay, that is nice. Then we yeah. have a Fallout book, a Vault Dweller survival guide, preparing yourself and your loved ones for the inevitable nuclear apocalypse, pray or not to pray, <laughs> or to pray or not to pray, uh, let's see, cooking for Hell's Kitchen, Thy Flesh Consumed, Thy Flesh Consumed <laughs> is an, an episode in the original Doom, I believe, Tai Tenga, off-world travel guide from nope fish to dope fish <laughs> the dope tale retcons the life and times of flynn taggart and that doesn't sound familiar to me at all it, it and, sounds familiar to me i just don't know where and yeah hell's kitchen is also gordon ramsay's show yeah <laughs> like when he dies we know where he's going but he's going to make it hell for hell <laughs> Like, this is fucking raw, cook it better. And he just kicks a caco demon back to, <laughs> to the second layer or something. Oh god, that'd be something. This is Quake. The Strog, a transdimensional field study. Uh, living with rage and other common emotions in the apocalyptic wasteland. The Spear of Destiny, a post-war deconstruction. Spear of Destiny was the uh, expansion pack for the original Wolfenstein game, and my neck is starting to hurt from bending it so much. A UNATCO training manual, bomb diffuser, that, that's Deus Ex. That's Deus Ex, I'm pretty sure. All uh, right. <laughs> Mesa Science Monthly, predicting unforeseen consequences. That's Half-Life, it's even orange. <laughs> yeah, obviously, they could not uh, predict what happens. Von Braun, Von Braun, that... Von Braun. From Braun, let's see, onboard AI systems techni technical manual. That's de that's uh, System Shock 2. Von Braun is the ship that you start on, I think. Uh, Leandri, a brief history and in interplanetary industry. Leandri sounds somewhat familiar, but I can't place it exactly. And let's see, Flynn Taggart is the protagonist in the original Doom novels. Okay. Devilish daggers and other assorted pointy objects. <laughs> Why I'm so great, part two by Dork Nukem. <laughs> uh, the reference there is well, Duke Nukem, who wrote a book called Why I'm So Great. 
My Body uh, Superfly you... by Hiro Miyamoto. Hiro Miyamoto is was one of the. I know. I don't know if Mi Hiro was their first name, but I definitely know that a Miyamoto was one of the big names in uh, Nintendo. And I. I don't think Leon. Uh, that's that. That would be a bit too much of a stretch for that to be from Leandri to uh, Leon. I think that's more like a race in Marathon, maybe or Halo. Maybe. And what the heck are those there down there? Are, are those games? <laughs> yep, we have <laughs> we have the original Doom. We have Quake. We have Quake Three Arena. We have the Art of Doom. Uh, Doom, where the sanest place is behind the trigger, and Doom 2, along with uh, just a crate, I'm guessing. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a gaming console or something. I think he's remembered. I think Flynn is Doom guy. That's... I think that's his actual name. <laughs> Skateboards, and it's an old PC. Uh. Actually, use the arrow keys with this, huh? Uh, let's see. Doom installation. You have one of 14 discs installed. <laughs> okay. And let's see. Oh, I need to do this the old fashioned way. Okay. Uh, I'm following what Mac is saying here. Yeah, so if this is I wrong, mean, <laughs> you can blame him. Something? Okay, I can hold it down, but it goes really fast then. Let's see. That's just a theory. A, a, a Glacier Boy names. I'm going to have to edit that out now. Uh, let's see, 52. Oh, tag art. That instantly goes. Okay, so now we have access to Doom 2 in <laughs> this. It's actually in the game, of course. Uh, I get the feeling this is partially just a joke of uh, how people try to get Doom to run on anything from like a a pregnancy test to... A, there's probably an electronic salt shaker somewhere that can run Doom. <laughs> okay. I don't wonder how many of them are true, but some of them have to be true. The Dinger cooking, winner winner, Arjun Denur, soul food, that's to die for, Pinkie Pies, 100% imp-fed boiled in a Pinkie pa Eddie Pies, Caco Cakes, top 10 recipes for the mortally challenged. <laughs> Uh, what, well, I can't just jump on this to look? Hellwalker. Hello, bigger one. Oh, this is his retro setup, and this is his gaming setup. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that Homeworld or something? Or is it, uh... I think I saw something. I think it's snacks. <laughs> Takoyaki flavor. Gulamis were everywhere, apparently, because you're in freaking space. Fruit juice. Wait, that's actually a brand? Demonology today. Uh, living with fear. How the Doomslayer is only a manifestation of your unresolved inner turmoil. Mortally understood, we examine the harmful effects of demonizing the mortally challenged. <laughs> Slayer outrage why the Slayer owes the demon community an apology. How did you get your hands on this? Because this was obviously published in hell. Uh, no more of the USC on Earth, probably, but yeah. I mean, you can see why a certain Twitter group hates this game. Okay, this piece out. of armor. One of the old containers for the Argent cells. And, well, you can't go wrong with some old fashioned. Nunchucks? Okay. What? I was going what? to say I was going to say anvil and grindstone, but <laughs> I don't think you need an anvil or a grindstone for nunchucks. 
I didn't know that was a nonsense. I've seen YouTubers show off this place, but no one has shown off the nunchucks. Okay. Uh, any more silly stuff to find? There's a downstairs. Here we go. Oh, we actually need to go this way. Go oh, ahead. Let's see here. Uh, if we no don't get to play with that. Oh dear. Right, now this is. Uh, uh, don't worry, Glacier Boy. We will fix that in editing. Yeah. And, yeah. Autocorrects are painful. And so you can remove autocorrect things, though. So it might be an idea to do that. Hmm. Okay, let's go look over here and then probably head back. Okay. Okay, there is more stuff down there, but we can take a look there some other time. Hmm. For now, I'm still curious as to how the hell the Slayer ended up here. Oh, oh this actually goes down. I thought it would go up. Okay. What oh. the heck? Punish demons in the prison? <laughs> Petorium? Okay. Ah. Or if that just means it locks them. Demon Prison. The Demon Prison allows you to practice finding demons without dying or permanently losing inventory such as ammo and extra lives. New encounters unlock as you progress through the campaign and discover new demons. Exit through the portal when finished. Alright. Hmm. As fun as that does sound, let's actually continue with the campaign first. <laughs> yeah, and it's supposed to be a practice room and I don't think we really need a pra What's that, a mirror? I think that was an empty picture frame. <laughs> okay, we will likely be going there at some point, though. Hmm. But I am still a bit confused about some things. Uh, for one, how the Slayer ended up here and how the Slayer ended up with the Night Sentinels, then. Let's see, nothing here. Another empty picture frame that's probably going to unlock as we progress or unlock certain things. Another... Okay. Um... Wait. Yeah, there's another side thing there. Let's see. Mish uh, weekly. Oh. Hmm. Wait, does it Wait, really just want what? us to go over there now? Where, where do we need to go to actually continue I, with the I, game? I think they want you to go to, to the repertorium to, uh, for one bit before continue the story. Okay. <laughs> Need to walk back then. There's also this side over here. Oh, wait, isn't that the skull? Wait. That skull head on the doors, wasn't that in... Wasn't that visible in 2016 somewhere? Uh, hello. 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 Okay, yeah, they really want you to go back through the levels and complete all the, the combat challenges, or, or mission challenges, so you can actually get all of these goodies. Can we just jump down? Nope. <laughs> Alright, game. Let's see, those frames are where you find the music collectibles. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing we just need. Yeah, I, I guess we just need to uh, waste some time while Mac is busy, or Mac Vega is busy calibrating the portal. <laughs> Yes, I misspoke did there. Did you mix up Mac with Vega? Yeah. Uh, even Mac here heard it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, thank you for that mental image. <laughs> well, I have heard Mac speak. Now I'm gonna be stuck with that accent in my head. And it's an action that I rather like, actually, even. There we go. Uh, I do like the idea that the Doom guy just has a bunch of demons imprisoned here. Just fuck around with whenever he is, whenever he's getting bored. Oop, greater suit points. Oh, so that's what all of those are. Praetor suit points. Let's see. You have unspent weapon points and upgrades are available for purchase. Okay. All right. Let's have a look. Oop. Praetor suit tutorial. Yeah. Oop. Select an available category. Okay. We have environment, we have frag grenade, we have exploration, a larger auto map reveal radius, fundamentals, and then there's the ice bomb. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon. Let's see, and each of these have a certain amount available right away, but they cost different ones. Let's see, reveal all progression items on the dossier. Let's go with this one. Oop. Select an upgrade within a category and then press and hold to purchase. Okay. Review your health, armor, and ammo capacities and bonus upgrades to plan for the Sentinel Crystal upgrades. Okay. Okay, we just swap between. We're... Wait. Okay, not sure what they fully meet, want with that. Uh, let's see. We can get micro missiles, or or no, we can't because we can't. You know, we don't have the one unlocked. Uh, let's see. Mega does not rely on outlets for it to function. Or Vega, I think you mean. <laughs> okay, sticky bombs. Um. Let's see, precision bolts. Let's upgrade the reload on that. Oh! It's a pun, Helian! <laughs> Mac Vega. <laughs> okay. Oh, he was a bit clever! <clears throat> let's see, let's... Uh, we're one short on that now. Uh, let's see. I'm not fully interested in the full auto, especially when the sticky bombs are a lot more useful for dealing with caco demons. I think I misheard you. For otherwise, that would be probably be hilarious if you actually spoke there again. And what did you hear? I thought you said Ubi won. <laughs> no. Okay. I like how they're gradually introducing things instead of just throwing everything at you at once. Now then. Whilst Vega... Now that Vega has... Yep, 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 yep. Let's see. This is an ARC broadcast. To any ARC personnel or survivors operating inside the Hellified Zones, please be advised. More Doom Slayer sightings have been coming in. ARC leadership do not recommend any attempts to communicate with the Slayer directly. Please avoid all contact with Doom Guy at this time. While it is clear that the Slayer is an enemy of the challenge, it is unclear if he could also be a threat to civilians. 
Yeah, I've got a decent point there with how violent <laughs> Doom Guy is. <laughs> okay. Open up, and here we go. Cultist base, okay. With the Celestial Locator now in your possession, you are able to pinpoint the locations of the remaining Hell Priests. Derek Ranak, leader of the UAC division responsible for Earth's invasion, has been located at the remote cultic art, you know, cultist Arctic base. I almost mixed <laughs> cultist and artist there. Ar Arctic, yeah. Infiltrate the encampment and neutralize Ranak. Okay, so can just go through some of the tutorials and other tips. Okay. Immediately. Okay. It should have put me directly to here. Let's see. Uh, led by the elusive help priest Deag uh, Deag Renak, the cultists operate from a remote internet facility located in the Arctic Tundra. As overseer, Renak exerts absolute control over the facility and its legion of possessed acolytes. Instrumental in sowing the seed of the cultist uprising, Renak worked briefly with Olivia Pierce at the Mars facility before departing to Earth with orders to prepare the groundwork for the imminent hell invasion. Okay. A recent declassified UAC biography for Renick indicates that he is a surviving member of the original Order of the Deag, uh, the ancient Argenta clerics. He now serves the forces of Hell and is rumored to have personal knowledge of the Doomslayer, suggesting a shared history between the two. Wielding total power over the cultists under his supervision, he uses his growing influence to advance the consumption and corruption of Earth. Built over the ruins of an ancient Argenta settlement, the cultist facility has been designed as both a gothic monument to the ancient architecture and a state-of-the-art science facility. Tablets and memory banks found at the settlement indicate that the Order of the Deag... Pardon? ...discovered Earth millennia ago and found it to be populated with powerful primeval beasts. They named these uh, creatures Agadons due to their similarity to the mythical, uh, to the mythic Cyclopean giant from Argentina's past, the Agadean. I'm guessing they mean the dinosaurs. Actually, notice. Me? Hmm. Millennia. You're not wrong. You're actually correct. Yeah, it depends on how many millennia we're talking about. Oh, you are actually correct. He will be uh, mentioned later. Okay, so that explain that explains why the fortress is in the uh, in orbit, but it still doesn't explain how the slayer got there. Okay, mission challenges, optional trials that can be completed at any point throughout the mission. Completing one mission, uh, the challenge awards a praetor suit points. Completing all awards a sentinel battery. Okay. Hello, you drink? And people. Please make sure Helia doesn't die while I'm gone. Okay, four in a single flame belt, and well, that's going to happen sooner or later. Okay. No, up there. Where's the next? There's the next. There. Oh, so I gotta say that the blood punch gives another reason to go for glory kills other than health. Especially when you're already full on health. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, yeah, Ain't that you know, drink called that? Blood yep, punch? Yep. Maybe. I did not expect to find <laughs> that. Okay. What is this? Uh, of course, a gargoyle. <laughs> oh, and there's an easy way back. Okay. Oop. Oop. 
there. Now, do these guys count? Yes. Okay, that oh, one's disabled. Oh, uh, Where's the other? There's the other. If I'm right, there a special, might be a secret around here. Okay. Yep, stick that thing to its head. Down you go, slender bone. Okay, and those that were zombie so cultists. Somewhere in this facility. I cannot pinpoint his exact location at this time. Oh, yeah, it should be there actually. Oh, hello. Uh, wait, how do you. How the fuck do you shoot that pole or something? Uh, or something will happen here. I think I'm getting called. Give me a second. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well. <clears throat> I will sneak. Eat some of your snacks. Okay, I was asked to just move my motorcycle into the garage since it was outside of it. Oh, well, welcome back. Uh, let's see, chat. Uh, what I like the gradual, I really hope BFG is next. Uh, got a couple levels before that. Maybe humans' ancestors or dinosaurs, no promises. Uh, Google Maps is better at scanning than Vega. <laughs> I doubt that's with how in this game's case Earth is sort of demon blasted, I bet. Yeah, that's going to make it a bit harder to uh, use Google Maps to plan out a route somewhere. Uh, let's see. Oh, there. oh, there's a knife down there. Hmm. Question is how to get that and get back. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Well, you found it! Yeah. Derp fish. Let's see, it's lower still. Hmm. Yeah, it, maybe you do something in there to make it uh, go up. Uh, don't really see how to, anyone know? Uh, terraform the blasted. Oh, okay, that's... There we go. Extra life, number six. Technically on number oh, seven or eight, but we know. lost a few. There's more than one, possibly. Like, several of them are hiding extra lives. Ooh, hello. Oh. Oh, you're new. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me take that off here. Hey. Oop. <laughs> Oh, and that's a bonk. <laughs> and yes, I added the sound effect to the soundboard. <laughs> yeah, I found it there, you were gone. <laughs> okay. Actually, were you people able to hear the bonk? Well, they should have been able to. Let's see. Really cultist key? <laughs> okay. Before we move on, though, we have some new codexes here, or there should be. Oh, they heard it. <laughs> okay, I hope it wasn't too loud or anything. Let's see. Dread Knights. Okay, the chain gun can quickly falter this game. Okay, a variant of the Hell Knight breed. The Dread Knight has been modified and hardwired for aggression. Uh, armed with an exoprocytic... Uh, Prothesis powering energy blade augments or extra prothesis. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, the Dread Knights is the lethal result of USC cultist, uh, yeah, cultist engineering. Ep Epinephrine regulators modulate the Dread Knight with an unbroken flow of rage handling adrenaline, while its endorphin receptors have been synchronized to respond with the use of its arm mountain blades. With each kill, the Dread Knight is injected with a flood of artificial dopamine. As a result of its augmentation, the Dread Knight is driven by a biochemically engineered state of pure, unbroken rage, a suffering for which respite can only be found in the act of the kill. Okay. We've seen the Revenants. Uh, let's see. Soldiers, zombies... We got a pop-up earlier about uh, cultist zombies, but I'm guessing they aren't being counted differently or something. Okay. Oh, there is the... So you can, you can turn page Ooh. on them, perhaps? Uh, let's see. Soldiers. Hmm. Now, I'm guessing they're just being counted as a group on that. And it looks like there's traps that we can activate here. Okay. Yeah. Welcome, Slayer. Is my time making end? Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed city. Sure, you will be able to handle it. Hmm. Still don't fully get what this is. Oh, Ooh. hello. Up. Really? Even they are going for that? They are probably was the coined the term. And they can obviously it's UEC who does it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Mancubus. Okay. Mancubus is a long-range heavy demon that uses a flamethrower when close. Its arm cannons are weak points, destroying them weakens its projectiles and disables its flamethrowers. Okay. I just literally shoot the guns. I thought that at least they'd make you shoot the... They'd make you shoot, like, the joints or something. Near you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Holy. 
Okay. Bit unfair to trap me with two of them in close quarters immediately. Or get me in close quarters. Holy. Uh, wrong button. No, I oh, wait. Uh, that's plasma cells, the purple. Come here. Yep, whatever that is, enjoy. This was already its more explosive organs. Any more? Okay, no more. Oop. Okay, I have to go through that to get there. Oh, hello. Thank you. Uh, let's quickly put that to use on something. Let's see, grab faster. Mm, let's get that. Then we know where to look for the maps. Should make it easier to... Okay, we're not getting shot at with that. Okay. Some big targets, big targets, or medium targets. Yep. Oh, that could have hurt. I think all of this players plenty of them already. Yeah, I think it's probably right. Yep, there we go. Okay. Every time I do that, it's just reflex. Let's see, pretty quiet sound for me. Okay. Uh, bro, I suck so much at the parkour in this game. I have died more times doing parkour than actual enemies. <laughs> Wait, who beats a boy? Okay. Okay, what's the deal? Ooh, there's a bit of armor down there. What's the point with this? Is it just meant to crush the goop or something? That's what is okay, that's the cultist key. Yep. Don't mind me just taking out one nuisance. Up, miss. Up. Not enough ammo. Of course it jumps the moment those come around. Pizza boy again. Okay. I don't know why. I think I heard the term pizza boy or pizza there is so many times that when I read pizza in that manner, it my brain goes or to great pilot. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Uh, let's see, might be a way up. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Terraform that blasted, that was the last. Let's see. The lost soul has its origin among the damned. Former humans who have fallen from the mortal world, doomed to an unliving eternity as sin branded slaves of hell. The damned are seemingly endless in number, their populations growing by the thousands with each rise of the black sun. 
For many, the torturous existence of crushing slave labor is all that awaits. The bodies of the damned are brittle, and those who become broken in labor, their bodies ruined, dismembered, or otherwise incapable of servitude, are transported to the pits where their souls must be extracted for further use. Those fortunate enough to escape this process are what inevitably become lost souls, their spirits transmogrified into physical form. <coughs> The lost soul knows only madness, its memory a haunting image of its former mortal life. These creatures live a fleeting existence, roaming mindlessly, seeking only that which can grant them a final death. Okay, that's a bit of a different difference between uh, this game and the last. Because last time they sought to possess whoever they could. Let's see. Is there any way to get over there? Actually, probably around the other way. An easier way this way. Yeah, it looks like there's only armor down there. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to grab that. I'm not going to grab that armor, since it's likely to get me hurt more than it would give. Ah, damn it! Energy shields. The plasma rifle can quickly destroy energy shields, which will trigger a damaging explosion. Okay, that's a good thing for, <laughs> since especially with how annoying those things were before. There you go. Fuck all three of you. <laughs> Holy! I saw something about the codex. Yeah, the codex you know, for extra info and such. Let's see. Okay, we need to just activate this. Hmm. Oh, I think this is a special one. Hmm. Yeah, you need to get inside. Question is, how? And from all they're, they're seeming to dig up around here, yeah, this looks like uh, Earth really was colonized by the, uh, the by the Argent. Yeah, Sentinels. in ancient time. But I don't think they were hu uh, descended to humans. Yeah, ancestors to humans, I think you mean? Oh yeah, ancestors. I don't think they're human ancestors. I think the time gap is just extremely different. Oh, oh hello. Hello. And here I got a little this special design. Let me see that. Let me see that rocket launcher. Forged from the metal smelting pits of the Galoch, the gold. Or, uh, Golgothan Enclave, the Pain Giver is a weapon of pure malice devised for a singular purpose, to enact suffering upon the weak. A tool of insidious intent, it was not by mortal design that the Pain Giver was conceived. The cultist engineers of Golgotha, the has, <clears throat> as acolytes of the unholy and un all-powerful will of the Hell Priest Rannach, were bestowed its vision, scribes to Rannach's dark premonition, uh, promote, promote, promoni, promoni, yeah, premonition, with great clarity did the pain giver reveal itself to the shared consciousness of the Golgothian and acolytes, and with, the fur and with river and religious zealotry uh, did they set themselves towards its manifestation, toiling without rest until the pain giver was created. That's a, <laughs> that's a metal way of uh, describing a rocket launcher. Yeah, I'll also explain why it looks like it does. For it does look rather... Yeah. Like this, this was not made by a your regular weapon maker. Good corners. Flying meatballs. Apparently, something snuck up on me there. 
What? Oscar Winky? No. Okay, that could have gone better. Holy. There. There. Let's see. Anything around? Oh, there's a key up there. Let's see. What is this? to swing at it from the other way. There. And there. Okay. Oh, no, it's a rune. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah. No, not that one. Speed boosts. What was the one? Uh, faster? No. How long they remain staggered. This is the one we want. Okay. Hmm. Can we... Yep. Okay, and this is the way we're supposed to go. Okay. No. Really, they just made it... They just made it metal version of the hell of the other one. No, oh, hello. What the? Oh, yeah, I think I forgot about these uh, little buggers. Whiplash. Uh, no, wrong. There we go. I need to move around more. Okay, yeah, this place is where they stop holding back, it seems. Oh, those buggers are actually damn tricky, but they're also damn quick. Actually, we know one way to stop that. There we go. Okay. Well, we know one easy way to somewhat deal with them. Oh, it's been a bit since we've seen one of these. Hello. Okay, rocket launcher. Let's see. Massive damage, uh, massive explosive damage. Be careful. Great for a group of sing uh, or a single slow moving target. Remove destination. And of course... Look at the rocket launchers on the remote detonation. Do you see something weird? Uh, the chain? Why is there a chain on there? Yeah. <laughs> There's a bit weird, ain't it? Yeah. But again, cultist made this. Yeah. Okay, that should help deal with whiplashes. Speaking Wait, of... On. I just realized... The rocket is already ignited. <laughs> Let's see. The Mancubus, destroy the Arn Cannons to disable its flamethrower attack and debilitate its cannon attacks. A chest glory kill would trigger an explosion that damages nearby demons. Okay. The Mancubus, hawking behemoth of the demon world, bears notable difference from those of its kind first encountered by the UAC expedition team on Mars. Unlike its brethren, which wore a naturally occurring armored carapace, this variation shows clear signs of pre-existing man-made modifications. 
armor plating augmentation to his exterior and a sophisticated arm mounted weapon system indicate a clear intent to upgrade and weaponize the fighting capability of the Mancubus, whose heavy stature and resilience make it a formidable threat in battle. Okay, and oh, I almost so, forgot. Uh, the other ones were the prototypes for this one. Yeah. And Whiplash. Let's see. Freeze it with the ice bomb to temporarily stop it from slithering. Yeah, that is also a good idea. A scavenger of the hellscape, the Whiplash creature was first discovered by USC expedition teams in the black desert of the Sanctum Wastelands. These elusive serpentine demons move with great speed and agility. They are capable of striking from a great distance with retractable bladed whips concealed within their forearms. This particular demon breed becomes an object of great in or became an object of great interest to the USC engineers on Earth. While attempts to capture live specimens of this nimble and unpredictable creature proved to be exceptionally dangerous. After successfully acquiring living specimens, researchers implanted cybernetic augmentations designed to enhance the whiplash's innate strength and lethality. Of course, because the UAC can't do anything without making it even more deadly. Uh, oh dear. Bloody Nor. Wait, hold on, what did you say? Bloody Nora. I really want to say Bloody Nora. <laughs> okay. I watch too much British comedy. Jimmy? Okay. A thick rumba? A thick bar? A rumba! Yeah, a thick bar. Oh! Okay, where's the fight here? The beast draws near to me, my brothers and sisters, but he is weak. Your hate must match his will. Only then will you be truly safe. Now, damn it, out of ammo. No, you don't. Oop. He's run up its back. And still pop the eye. Yeah, I thought, oh, dear. That's the ice bomb. Hello and goodbye. No bonk. Dude, that's nice. Miss. Did that get its tail? That did not get its tail. That got it. Okay. Uh, that's not, not, let's not headbutt the bomb. <laughs> Don't do that. Holy. Okay. There we go. An act of revenant somewhere. Oh. No ammo on that. Near you. Miss. There. 
Okay, take your time with that one. Ow. Dude. And apparently you don't count as big enough a threat, even though you have a flamethrower that's annoying. Okay. Yeah, I really need to be a lot more mobile in these fights, since they, they throw a lot more enemies at us at once. Yeah, and even more variety even now. Okay. Anything missed? No. There it is. Something there that we missed. Can we still get to that? Mm, not sure, no. Oh well, we can fast travel to that later. battery. It's probably needed to activate something. Oh, hello. That looks climbable, but I... Let's see, do we... those need to be flipped or something? Hmm. Your salvation lies in his destruction. The myth of the Slayer's strength is exposed now to us. Can you see it, brothers? He has lost the resolve to continue. Eat his soul. I must survive this. Protect me in my time of need, and you will secure your place in the new world. Not even going to be active, okay. Super shotgun is nearby. A relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. Yep. <laughs> Unpleasant surprise. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, that explains why we've lost our weapons. The assholes stole them. Yep. And re really cue ball? <laughs> okay. Cue balls are ambient demons that wander around the world. <laughs> Shooting them sends them flying, and when they collide with other demons, they generate a bigger explosion for the new extra damage. <laughs> uh. Attention, all mortally challenged personnel. The Slayer is inside the facility. With aggression. Proceed with aggression. Proceed with aggression. Same with the real with this game, but they thought this game have a lot of humor. In the unexpected places. Yeah. Kind of has to be, since well end of the world and all that. Yeah. Ice grenade. There we go. What? Where did go? Oh. Is there someone in here? No, it's those landmine things. There we go. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> there. 
open up. And bon appetit. Okay, I need to chainsaw more things. Because I keep running out of ammo. Oops, secret encounter. Let's see. We need to get to that. Oop, hello. How do we get to you? Actually, you probably open up everything. Here we go. Oh. What is that? Okay, I'm guessing that is the Mountain Dew. <laughs> Wait, is that... Ocean infused lava? Looks like. There we go. And I'll be taking this. Uh, let's see. I want more health. Let's see. Flame belts takes less time to cool down. Let's take that. Yeah, uh, immediately. Because we get health and we get more armor from that. And I think that's all of the challenges done. Yeah, one, two, three. We get a battery. And this was a secret encounter. Yeah, but I'm going to leave those be to save up on resources. But didn't I give a lot of uh, upgrade points? Uh, I think they gave one upgrade point to be exact. Let's but see. they gave one of one kind and three of the others. Okay, what? Okay, that opens that. Ah, I see now. Hmm. Can we get into that one? Okay, that also works. Yep. Immediately lose half my health to this jackass. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Okay, I was going at it from the wrong angle. And let's see, pizza is about to hit a boss fight, they think. Okay. Best of luck with the boss fight, uh, pizza lover. What's the same throwing again? Almost. Here. Okay, just go straight for the heads. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, let's see. Codex. Mm, no. I, okay, I thought they put this, those flamer zombies among the ambient, maybe, since they weren't counted before. Unless. Mm -hmm. I would feel like there should be. Extra codex info when you if you fight a, a variant. Like yeah. the dread might have uh, its own thing. Okay. It almost fell back down. <laughs> Okay, apparently I was out of jumps with that. 
Hmm? Hello. Oh yes. You're gonna okay. love this. I've I've heard of this part. What the Iron Maiden? And an electrocution on top of that. Neural connection successful. You are now in control of the revenant drum. You may use it to reclaim your property. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Afterburner, jump, twin rockets, rocket barrage. <laughs> let's see. Holds right to the <clears throat> right, mouse, right mouse button uh, to use your uh, jetpack to fly up high. Press left shift to activate your afterburner to quickly dodge. If you run out of fuel, these abilities will be unavailable until it recharges. Okay, twin rockets. After launch, a rocket barrage, which is a stronger attack that requires a brief wind up. Okay. Okay, I see the foot uh, here. Ew. Fuel gauges around the cursor. Ew. I'm pretty sure they copied this from the multiplayer of 2016. Ew. I will not know. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, okay, that's he's on the timer. Okay, any more? Yep, more. <laughs> Literally the last one there, really? Okay. Gimme. Okay. <laughs> that was a neat little bit. Super oh shotgun. God. The shotgun. Come that pizza lover. All right. <laughs> Congrats, uh, pizza. Yeah, I've been trying to over the shot occasionally here. Especially now when I'm alone at home, I can actually somewhat read. I'll Just share that more again. Yeah, when I'm alone at home, it means I'm not uh, sharing broadband with anyone. Okay. A weapon from the Slayer's past. This double barreled shotgun displays ornate, undeciphered uh, uh, filigree uh, carvings. It also includes a modification a twin pronged hook anchored with a retractable chain designed for underbarrel use, uh, usage. Though the firearm appears to be of earthly design, the meat hook attachment is comprised of non-terra metals, suggesting some level of prior history of world. <clears throat> Pardon? Its place in the Slayer's arsenal in Hell has also been recorded, as noted in the following translation from the Ungmar, uh, Ungmar uh, Codex. The sting of the Slayer's abominable arsenal casts fear into the lowest of our kin. 
its blazing barrels of brimstone spew his vitriol and loathing upon us, and cast our brethren into the dirt. Mark the venom of his chosen apparatus of agony, Di the diabolical musket, <laughs> Lucifer's bane, its claw of pig iron gouging the flesh of the martyr and hurrying him upon us. Curse the name of the, his beloved treasure. Curse the Hellwalker's device of torment. We shall cast it into the smelter and gild his entrails with the slurry. Well, good luck with that. A pig iron? That sounds like an insult. A pig yeah. iron is a very bad quality iron. This is actually what katanas are made of. It makes katanas mm. impressive for... They were able to make some deadly sword out of egg quality iron. There we go, that's our health situation. However, I don't think egg iron is very good for guns. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it does share air ammo with this thing, so that is a little bit annoying. Yeah, but this this one still has a use now though for the sticky grenades. Uh, let's see. Oh, time flies. Yep. You can soon hit the stream, I just noticed. Okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay, delayed what? reaction much? What? What uh. just happened? Uh, I blood punched it, but apparently it didn't register at first. I miss. Okay, roly poly. Okay. Up, out of ammo. We could just really tear into these things, huh? What do you mean, rip and tear? <laughs> True. I, I have to say, <laughs> even though the overall graph. Gra graphic with graphic uh, quality has gone down a bit. I still like the, the what we got in exchange. Yeah, it means it's easier to work with and easier on the programs usually. Yeah, and, and well, the and all that. Also, just the fact that we can just absolutely actually rip and tear these things even before we get to glory killing them. Oh yeah. Do, do remember, you did Attention. reduce All the graphics. Personnel. True. Priest destroyed the Slayer. The priest must survive. I repeat, the priest must survive. Actually... Blade block the shots. Okay, I, I definitely need to use the plane belts more as well. Okay, these placed here in case you did get caught in the traps. Oh, I missed something there, and something there. What have we here? Good question. 
Felt like I slid around there for a bit. Yeah, this is looking like a bit. Warhammer 40k <laughs> place. Almost! There's a bit more high tech than that. A bit more cleaner tech, you could say. Alright. Let's keep going. Let's see. Uh, is the music room somewhat. Uh, yeah, the music sometimes reminds me of the music in God of War. Okay, pizza. Yep. Out of dashes and such there. Well, we only lost a bit of armor. And the yep. One, two, three, four. Now, where are we? Nope. Can I shoot? Nope. Okay, we can shoot these things to temporarily disable them. I or not? Okay, just, that was just good timing. Almost jumped right into that one. It's there. Allie hope. Allie hope. Okay, a little bit awkward to see. There. Hmm. Nothing hidden here. Nothing hidden here. Or not, nothing obviously hidden. There is this, though. At the uh, secret encounter. Okay. <laughs> Anyone getting Portal 2 vibes? Uh. Okay, game deselected. That even, even that happens way less now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this the sniping mod is really good for taking out weak points. Ooh. Oh lovely. Still way too easy on the trigger with that. Thought so. Did you just idiots just hit each other with that? Hey, fix me. Okay, it is not obvious which do have tentacles and which don't. So basically, always keep your guard up. Yeah. Do we another one of... Yes. Okay, those are secret, but what the hell are they? Uh... Turban speech balls? Maybe. Let's not get crushed to the ceiling. Uh, into... Uh, okay, what did that say? Into Sandy? <laughs> uh, was something new here? Uh, oh, the cue ball. Uh, okay. Former UAC engineers, these malformed zombies were rendered inept during the war on, for Earth. Their bodies are now a disgusting fusion of you know, body, bone, and ma barrel. <laughs> okay, so that just ties it back to uh, the previous game where, well, the, the possessed engineers, which were <laughs> basically the same. Hmm. Let's see, we need to head upwards. Should we take back the part cleaner compared to 40k? 
Now the previous area was cleaner. This one isn't. Yep. Still way too... It, it's just... It's just reflex. And that's the stream timer, so let's keep going until we hit a checkpoint. Oh, hello. Miss. I think the match was just shot on its own any days. There. Yep. Who can we? That one flew. No, no, miss. I think this is another jump fish area. Go. Go, let's help with that indigestion. An eye surgery as yes, well? Oh, free? And that's a lost bonk. <laughs> okay, Damn so it. we at least had two. I should have been ready for this. And I used to go on the wrong guy. Yeah, it would have been better to have a chainsaw sound for that. Uh, let's see. Nope, no fish in sight. Okay. Oh, and there's a Slayer's Gate nearby. But I think that probably was a checkpoint. Let's see. Oh, I see what's to do here. First that. That explains why it went up so high. There we go. Are and that's a checkpoint. Time, Slayer. We will break your will yet. Yeah, please. <laughs> this is a Sunday afternoon scroll, uh, scroll, stroll for the Slayer. Let's see, a Glacier Boy heads, needs to head off, and well, we're going to close off anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so, well timed. Yeah, that's what's in the well timed. Uh, let's see, pizza. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but the other shoddy only takes one shell at a time, while the, this one takes two. Yeah, so ammo runs out a lot faster. We're going to need to upgrade that. Um, oh, we got a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing all of that weekly stuff is from some sort of battle pass that is going on or something. I'm not going to be interested in that. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I wanted to contain a lot of shotgun. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that went very well, I'd say. So, let's hunt on over here. And we can go look for someone to raid. Yeah, Looks like... Lost. Yeah, looks like setting the priority. <laughs> Thank you. Look, that yeah, looks like setting the priority on VC face up higher didn't really help that much. But uh, well, it's it's better to have a bit of stuttering than just being completely frozen. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Okay then. Uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. This is. is it... uh... Thank you for finding the great stream so great, uh, Glacier Boy. Yep. Uh, yeah, thank you for that. Uh, let's see, that's screen share. Change that to switch. And let's see, we have a decent amount of people online. Uh, let's see, we have I'm Nice who is streaming Tears of the Kingdom. Intro VT is streaming Dead by Daylight. Jimmy McGinger is streaming Xenogears. I'm a flanker with Crusader Kings 3. Rem the Wolf with Neo. Corridust with Demonologist. Okay, which is basically... A different take on phasmophobia and such. Uh, I actually heard that a recent, a, a recent of that genre, if you could call it that, came out recently, but focuses on, or not sure if it was recently, but that instead of uh, haunted houses, it's haunted Egyptian tombs. Okay. Could be interesting to take a look at sometime, but for now, uh, yeah, Halloween with Street Fighter VI, and last but not least, Karen and I with Limbus Company. Any of those sound interesting? Hmm. Uh, 
I'm sure. Okay. It's been well it says to be really intro VT, but mm. Mm, yeah, dead, the daylight is a bit of a Cora mm. dead dust? What? <laughs> I mean, my brain wanted to say Cora Explorer, but butchered it completely. Could be. Anyways, I'm seeing someone in the recommenders that I'm going to check out myself another time. It's Tear of Grace, who maybe know some people from uh, their uh, <clears throat> uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War videos. Uh, yeah. Shall I just pick them? Yeah, I mean, the, you pick them at the moment. I'm, th I'm feeling rather sleepy. I'm thinking uh, Gnice then. So, uh, I think I've been picking them quite a lot when I get to choose. Yeah. Uh, let's go say hi to Cora. Uh, all right. See if we can jump scare them. Why are they all in their underwear? Okay, that's a line to end on. Okay, copy the name, slash, raid, and paste. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Durvan Lord. Thank you, Glacier Boy. And am I forgetting anyone? Yeah, Let's Mac, see. Glacier Boy, Durvan, Pizza. Oh, oh, there's someone in chat that we completely missed. Uh, Silver yeah. Smurfer. Silver Smurfer 47. <laughs> Sorry for missing you. It was a bit uh, hard to check on chat so I was trying to not die. Uh, which difficulty? Yeah, that, was on, uh, that was on the, the second difficulty. Uh, Heard Me Plenty, I believe it's called. Yeah, I think so too. So, yeah, if you're still around, sorry about that. And yeah, Mac, I think we said them as well. Okay, uh, yeah. And of course, thank you everyone who has been watching this later at any point as well, of course. And yeah, let's see. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, and thank you as well, of course, Drapier. Drapier? What? <laughs> Another Drapier. A Drapier. <laughs> Drake and Drapier. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That's always my friend. Okay. Uh, let's see. Nothing tomorrow, but on the weekend we'll be doing with uh, we'll be doing our side stuff. Um, maybe I'll look at making a bit of a. a hmm, uh, maybe I'll yeah, maybe I'll take a look at making more of a PNG version of uh, my avatar for more intensive games like Doom Eternal. It's not too hard at the moment on it that it it doesn't have me doing just complete. Uh, teleportation all around the place but with some games it might be more intensive so i'll take a look into that um but yeah for now thank you all again for watching let me start up the raids and yeah until next time have a nice day and until then be safe everyone and watch out for uh, zombie seagulls and gargoyles <laughs> and plenty of other demons yeah especially those souls